Dragon Ball Super Season 2, Dragon Ball Super 2020, whatever you want to call it, has some more Jump Fester booth updates adding to the story we've already been reporting on here. New cryptic tweets from Ryo Horikawa, the voice of Vegeta, a new translation courtesy of Gorish, which details a bit more about what exactly is going to happen and more at the actual booth, and trust me, it may not exactly be what you think it would be. Stay through to the end of this video to hear what I personally think of all of this and my final verdict and prediction on whether I believe Dragon Ball Super will have its next iteration announced this December just before Christmas. But before that, my name is Arj and I welcome you all to hit that subscribe button with your notification bell on to join our army of 197,000 like-minded Dragon Ball fans. But moving on, so a day ago, I broke down updates concerning the possible announcement of Super after Ryo Horikawa sent out a tweet which basically was him teasing big news from Toei that he wasn't allowed to share yet. Now, when that went out, one of the things that I mentioned to you in that video is that language specialists had broken down that the way he is phrasing things, he was saying things using Japanese mannerisms which would actually normally be seen as disrespectful. And so it was actually him tweeting in the voice of Vegeta using his character. Now, some people were a bit confused about that, but he has now released a second tweet which details the following. I will prove that I am the strongest at Jump Fester 2020. Now, if it wasn't clear enough before to you what I meant about him speaking in Vegeta's voice, then it should be very clear by now. But before I really go in and talk about that, because let's be real, that is some interesting information and a random sentence for him to claim, I also want to touch on this translation Goris has done concerning what will actually happen during one of the two, yes, one of two Dragon Ball Super anime booths that will be going on in Jump Festa. It reads, a super wonderful Dragon Ball booth is set to be held at Jump Festa 2020. Along with Nozawa Masako, who plays Goku as well as other guests, we will have a talk corner looking back at the powerful enemies of Dragon Ball Super. And we will even introduce some improvisation on some scenes from the Dragon Ball Super comic that has not been made into anime. Let's do the Kamehameha with Nozawa Masako. Again, very, very interesting because this kind of says to me, forgive me if I'm wrong and feel free to let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree, but this tries to suggest that on at least this booth, there will be no reveal whatsoever concerning Dragon Ball Super returning, and in fact, it will be some sort of strange real life filler episode where they just recap and go over the villains of the past. Now, the only thing I have to say when I think about this is that why look back on specifically the powerful enemies of Super only if not to lead onto something else, something bigger and better? perhaps even a trailer for the new series where new villains are shown. This is almost exactly like what happened with the Broly movie, where they recap things first, villains and the story of Dragon Ball up to the turn of power before just dropping the mysterious trailer we all know and remember where we initially thought it was just an ancient saying and not Broly. Even further to this, when we look closely at the wording here, it's so careful that it appears almost too careful. It says, we will even introduce some improvisation on some scenes from the Dragon Ball Super comic that has not been made into anime. Notice how it purposely doesn't say been made into anime yet. Almost as if to throw us off any idea of Super returning in anime form, which is classic Toei, but also silly since whether it's next year or in the next 10 years, these manga arcs will obviously be animated into the anime at some point since it's Dragon Ball and every single chapter has its anime counterpart and this will be no different. Just because this small summary doesn't mention anything about any announcement doesn't rule it out since obviously they never leaked the Broly trailer either. Nothing is confirmed as always but I gotta say I'm getting good vibes of Super's return from this but you let me know what you think. Now back onto this Vegeta line. I will prove that I am the strongest at Jump Festa 2020. What does this line really mean and why is Horikawa the only voice actor revealing anything about Jump Festa while Toei and the rest of the cast remain quiet? It is strange, but it could be revealing something, something other than a Dragon Ball Super return. The one thing we have had confirmed by Toei is that they do have another Dragon Ball Super movie 
lined up. We don't know what it will be about, but we know it's coming, and we also can assume that at least one of these two booths for Dragon Ball Super will be mentioning it. My initial thought from reading this is that if Dragon Ball Super is not being announced for a return, what if the new movie is going to instead revolve around Vegeta? Think about it, what if after all this time, after all this fan unrest, Vegeta gets his own movie and we have a movie called Dragon Ball Super Vegeta? A movie where Vegeta is the main protagonist, following his early life or a story of his own, where as Horikawa suggests, Vegeta will prove he is the strongest. It's obviously just my own speculation at this point, but it could definitely be plausible. Concerning Super Season 2 though, the only hint this could be referring to is that Horikawa is referring to the Vegeta who is now training on Yardrat and expected to achieve a new power or technique that equals Goku's UI or surpasses it. At Jump Festa, could we get an early spoiler of exactly what Vegeta achieves? We don't know, but this is Toei after all, the company which purposely drops spoilers for every single episode just so YouTubers like myself could cover it and build hype for each episode, so I wouldn't put it past them at all. Now onto the final part of this video and as promised I will give you my honest verdict and prediction on whether this time around Dragon Ball Super will finally get a season 2 announcement. And you guys know me, after all these years I don't often do predictions unless I'm quite certain, but just remember this is my prediction and not a confirmation. I didn't speak on the June release date when YouTubers were saying that that was when Super was out, nor did I speak on any other release date, but this time round, I'm going to say that I do believe that Super's return will be announced in December and it's for many reasons. Remember this is just my own thoughts. The first being that we have already had a movie announced which one way or another confirmed just how successful Broly was and how much money there still is left in Dragon Ball as an IP. So one way or another the animation team are working right now. The next is that the moral arc of Dragon Ball Super the manga is undoubtedly coming to a close. They are literally about to have a two month time skip in the manga and bring Goku and Vegeta back from their training for the final battle on earth with Moro, Gohan and all the Z fighters involved. And so this long arc is going to reach its conclusion within the next few chapters. The next is that for some time now, the Toei official account on Twitter has been cryptically tweeting about Dragon Ball, and for no real reason considering the series is no longer on air. Having voice actors like Horikawa also publicly tweet about Dragon Ball and the Jump Festa event on purpose when Toei are usually famously tight-lipped also lends weight. But the biggest telltale is the fact Dragon Ball Super anime is named twice in the sheet timings for Jump Festa, with one of the booths having King Iyoku himself there, the head of the Dragon Room, who I have mentioned already in that previous video was last seen at Jump Festa to announce Dragon Ball's return in the form of Dragon Ball Super. With it being just before Christmas, the timing and everything in my mind seems to point me towards this conclusion and I'm gonna stick to it to try and will it into existence, but I'm interested to know what you have to say. And by all means, I really wouldn't blame anyone to say they don't think it'll be back because we have all been down this road a million times. We have even had supposedly trusted individuals in the past sell us exact release dates and nothing has come. So the same could really be said here. We have a movie coming out and there is only so much animation a studio can take on for one IP on top of the manga which is ongoing. So it wouldn't be out of the picture to assume they want to just finish that before jumping back into the anime, which is notoriously long for breaks that in the past have taken decades. Not saying that will be the case this time, but it's important to always have perspective. If you managed to make it this far in the video, you're a true fan so drop me a hashtag Dragon Ball Super in the comments to let me know what you think of all of this and how excited you are for a potential Dragon Ball return. But also, if you want to see more of me or more news, I highly suggest you click on one of these two videos on the right, which have over 200,000 views between them. 
you will not be disappointed. Until next video guys, cheers.